This is Janelle Baez with OVMTV here with Chris Lane. She is the executive director for National Christian Foundation. How are you? Good. So happy to be here today. Share with us a little bit about what it is that you do to sponsor this event or how you support this event, because we know that this is a second annual fashion show. Um, so are you um, an avid supporter? We are. I personally am an avid supporter and been been walking with the Glory House since the day of inception. I personally am a mentor at the Glory House and have walked with many of the women at different stages as they work their way into society and freedom. So um, personally, I know a lot about it. Um, and also professionally at the National Christian Foundation, this is one of the most important causes in our city because of the way they deliver with great honor and love to these women, the wraparound services that the Glory House provides for survivors of human tra trafficking, to me and um, to many of our donors is unparalleled. So many of the causes and the programs within the, the Glory House, um, housing, counseling, many women have children that they need care. So. We've been a part of all of these different facets of the Glory House. And so our donors find this to be one of the, if you can say blue chip, um, it's one of the blue chips, the ones that you know that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. They hit their mark and they don't go away. They have incredible mission and vision for this city. And um, today we're here really hoping um, and praying that this is a big day for building the house for the survivors, because they need that house and they need the wraparound services in the house. Definitely. So it sounds like you entrust in these people because they're credible and they hold accountability. Um, can you walk us a little bit through the process? By the way, they did say that you're very resourceful. <laughs> you're the most resourceful person here. Can you walk us a little bit through the process of how these, uh, these, these victims are referred to you guys and what it is, how is the process to guide them into the right direction? Well, Betty Lara, who is the director, um, we know from a lot of the things that she tells us, um, there are referrals from all over, other, st other institutions throughout the state. Everybody knows the Glory House. So she works very closely with Homeland Security, with um, CVAC, and a number of other referral agencies. But what we know for certain is that the women will be handled with dignity. Um, many times when you're in that position, um, you just don't even know which way to go. You really need support and counseling. And this is one of the things that the Glory House does. So yes, there are many wonderful places that we need as a city that offer beds, but Glory House gets to know you. They walk with you for a long time. We've seen um, girl, young girls come in that are uneducated and go to nursing school, get out and be nurses. We've seen women who were, um, I mean, fractured beyond what I would consider I mean, so fractured. And then the other side, five years later, I'm looking at whole women, fully employed, running companies. It's just amazing to me. So I've had the blessing of seeing what happens when the referral comes into Glory House. Um, they walk alongside and they, everyone looks different. If you and I were in this situation, you might look a little differently than, than, than I do. So they assess. And that is, to me, the most important ingredient in their success, they treat each girl differently and um, ask them, you know, where are you going? What do you need? How can we walk alongside you? And the professionals that come alongside the Glory House as far as services are also unbelievable collaborators with them. So um, they've been a blessing to Miami. Some other cities have many of these. We have the Glory House. We have Christie House. We have Camilla's House. And we need more. Um, and in particular, they're just Everybody's model's a little different, but Glory House is, is smaller numbers, serious wraparound, and spending a lot of time walking for 100% freedom. Yes, it's a very deep spiritual calling, and yeah. the fact that you guys can put this together every year and do this, and hopefully for many more years to come. What would you say is something uh, vital information that you would want the audience to know about these organizations and about these philanthropic pursuits for this organization in particular? So at the Glory House, I think that they have a very unique approach to investment into each survivor. There's a lot of human capital here. So mentorship, you have to train to be a mentor, and then you wrap around. But you walk for years. It's much more expensive to do it that way. So it's not just dollars. 
it's human capital. A lot of people pour into these women. So the model is very comprehensive. It's not get off the street. Here's your bed. Here's your meal. Let's do some art together. It's, I know your name. I know your goals. I'm going to walk with you for not just this day, but for the next five years or six or 10. I can tell you one of the girls that uh, I mentored almost a decade ago, you know, she calls me still. She moved away. She's married. She has children. She's successfully employed. We are still talking a decade later. It's, it's not your normal model. So, you know, first your help comes from the Lord. And that's, God is in the center of this model. And then those that surround you and invest a lot of time into what it means to be a part of the glory house. I think because uh, it's tailored, this care is tailored to each individual's needs. It's yeah. because you're so successful and you're able to guide these women to the successful future that they envision for themselves and that the Lord has prepared for them as their purpose because you are now fulfilling your purpose. So it all falls into place. And I think that is so commendable. There you go. I couldn't have said it better, right? You know, and some people come in so damaged or fractured that they really don't know what their purpose is. So Glory House walks with you and helps you discover you are God's child. You're a daughter of the king. There is a purpose. And this is why good is overcoming evil. Thank you so much. This is Janelle Baez with OVMTV here with Lori Bean. We're at the second annual fashion show for Glory House. Lori Bean is the main sponsor for the event. How are you, Lori? I'm doing well, thank you. So tell us a little bit about how you support uh, this foundation and how you sponsor it. This is the second annual fashion show for Glory House. Uh, I'm the main sponsor for this second annual. Betty, Lara, who does a tremendous amount of work for these young women who are sexually trafficked and takes care of them. Um, Betty asked me and I jumped right on in and said, absolutely, I will be here. This event is primarily to support those women that are being sexually trafficked in South Florida primarily and to advocate for them so that they have better access to health care and um, mental support, um, all kinds of support, really emotional support as well and somewhere to live as well. What organization do you work for that supports and sponsors this event? It's Bean Automotive Group. I have four dealerships. Uh, we are active in the community. My community means everything to me. And being a woman owner of a car dealership is not often seen in, in this country. So myself as a woman, I need to get out there and advocate for all of us, no matter what the situation is. Definitely. And God all brings us here for this divine purpose to be able to assist with this. If you had a message to all kinds of women and people in the community that are watching this right now, what message would you want them to know in order to support these types of organizations more? Get out there and get involved. It, it exponentially keeps growing by just helping one as, as, Helping doesn't always mean monetary. Helping can mean just helping out physically and doing things. You help one out and it exponentially grows where you start helping out and you really realize in the community how much is so needed for not only us women, but for children and others out there. So I urge everybody to please pick something that you love that's near and dear to your heart and go for it. Go all the way. Definitely. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank you very much. Here's Chanel with OVMTV with Betty Lara, Executive Director of Glory House of Miami. How are you, Betty? I am doing wonderful. Today is a wonderful day. I'm so happy to be here with all these people that want to support us. Yeah, so far I've already interviewed a couple of people that support this organization and sponsor it as well. Talk to us a little bit about these survivors, what it is that the organization does, how you guys connect the dots, and what is the turnaround for some of these survivors as well? Yeah, we reach rescue and restore survivors of human trafficking. Uh, basically, uh, they someone can refer to us. Uh, they call us themselves. Uh, we go to the streets uh, to minister to them. And then we begin gi giving them, them services, whatever services they need. Anything that they need, and we have the capacity to have it or we have a partner that can provide it, we give it to them. And then we start life. That's where their healing and restoration starts. And it's a long journey. Uh, we have seen, we have 
ha had disappointments, but we have seen amazing results. And today we have a survivor that will give her testimony of what God has done and, you know, uh, her coming to a couple of programs because it was only just our program. Uh, you know, she had to get detox and then she came to us, lived with us. And now, you know, she has an amazing life. That is excellent. Can you paint the picture a little bit of how that referral process looks like? What are some of these survivors? What do they go through and what it looks like, what they're going through as well? Well, a lot of them are, uh, they don't think that there's hope, right? They're in the streets. Who's going to help us? You know, uh, a lot of them have uh, fear, right? And so we have to build trust. And so if they could be referred to someone that has already built trust and then they refer to us so that we can continue the process. So it's a matter of trust and trust takes a while because they've been abused 10 times a day. They have been beaten. They have been drugged. Uh, and so it's just us being there, loving them until they decide, okay, I want a new life. And that could be short uh, time or that could be a long period of time. And Betty, where do you see this organization in the next five years? Where is it that you want to take what? How do you want to elevate it? And what? how can more people help get involved? Well, we're looking to open a home and we want to buy a house. We, we had one, but we rented it and we had to move because the owner raised the rent. We want to start with a home uh, so they, where they can live safe, long term where we can tell them about Jesus, uh, provide everything that they need, teach them skills so that they can fend for themselves. And if God gives us more homes, that, that would be wonderful. We want to go to the streets and we want to go to all the areas where trafficking is happening in Miami. We've partnered with, I don't even know how many homes all over the United States. People refer to us from outside and we refer to other states. So wherever God wants to take us, I, you know, we, I just, we just do one step at a time. Of course, you know, we have our yearly plan, uh, but really our plans have been above and beyond anything that I could ask or imagine. That's wonderful. For the final question, in Miami, is there a high ratio of women that are being trafficked? Is it one of the biggest cities for human trafficking? Yeah, well, the trafficking is happening in all the states now because of, you know, people, immigrants coming in. Okay, so now everybody. But Miami is the third largest state where human trafficking happens. So it affects Miami. It affects our culture. It affects our community. Yes, definitely. Thank you, buddy. We're with Marlene Riesco. She's the board chair for Glory House of Miami. How are you, Marlene? Very well. How are you? I'm doing well. Talk to us a little bit about what it is that you do for the organization and how you sponsor it or how you contribute to it. Well, um, uh, I am a mother of three daughters who have been living here in the beautiful city of Miami and have been raised in the land of milk and honey. And so there's also an ugly and dark side of things that are going on. And it's important for people to be aware of what is happening here. And so Glory House is a light in the darkness for all this that is going on with human trafficking. We help uh, restore girls to, to their original identity for how God created them to be. And so that's my passion. My passion is for, for women. My passion is for girls. My passion is for them to live the way they, they're supposed to, to live in their, in their true purpose. And that's why I'm involved with Glory House. How long have you been with the organization? And can you please paint a picture for us a little bit of how the cases typically look like, what it is that you guys experience with these women? So I've been with the organization for six years. Um, we actually had a survivor that had finished the program and um, still was, was still in school and she came to live with my husband and I. And that was just, a, you know, it just changed my life. It just changed everything completely because this was a girl who was who was 19 years old, the same age as my daughter, someone who had been tricked for, by a friend and told, oh, you can come stay with my cousin. And that cousin ended up locking, locking her up and trafficking her and making her uh, have uh, 10 clients a night. And so one day when he fell asleep and left his keys, she was able to run away and, and, and contact her parents and contact the police. And so this can happen to anyone. It can just, it, it's just right here in our backyard. It can happen to anyone. And, um, and it doesn't have to be that way. You know, we all need to know what's going on. We all need to know who is who and, and who are the people who are grooming our, our daughters, our children, and, and trying to trick them into this life. It's interesting because I saw on the news earlier this week that there was in a brick wall apartment, eight women that were being trafficked and they actually broke through the wall of that apartment and they were able to escape because of that. These women, when they're found, 
the police comes and gets them and then they're referred to you guys, right? Well, we, we don't um, take them in until they, you know, they've gone through some healing already. Our program is a two year, one year to two year program. And that's like a complete restoration. So first there's a lot of, of drugs involved. There's a lot of other things that they have to heal from before they come to us. And so we're like that final step that that final liberation, the final liberation, the final chains come off and then you are completely restored, but only, only through God, only, only through God's grace and mercy can this happen. And is there a protocol set in place um, for the protection of these victims once they're out of the program or they don't need that, that kind of protection once they're out? So we have a safe house and um, they don't have, um, they're, they don't have any social media. They don't have any, a phone. They don't have any of that. And that's why they have to agree to come into our program because they are disconnected until they can be reintroduced into the world, until they are safe to come back into the world. So, yeah. Thank you so much. It's very commendable what you do. Thank you for sharing this time with us. This is Janelle Baez with OVM Global, and we're with Iris Marrero, the president for Infusion Consulting. How are you, Iris? Good, how are you? I'm so glad to be here today. Thank you for joining us. So I was just talking to Betty now and she was giving such great, saying such great things about you, great words. Tell me a little bit about what it is that you do to support this organization and how it is that you sponsor, if you even sponsor. Yes, absolutely. So Infusion Consulting, what we do, our role with the organization and other nonprofits um, throughout our city is to really strengthen their infrastructure. We come in as an ex-consultants and we uh, pretty much become an extension of their cause, of their department, making sure that we're connecting them with influential individuals in the community that have a willingness to make a difference in the lives of others. And we want to connect them with these great causes so we can have not only advance the mission of the organization, but really have greater impact in our city. That's wonderful. What are some of the ways so far that you've contributed to this organization and how have you altered it to elevate it to the, to the heights where it wants to go? So we love Glory House. We think that they're doing an amazing uh, work in our community in the prevention of human trafficking and, and the rescue of survivors. For us, it's very important that we are part of that mission. So what we do is we work with Betty and Jess and the rest of the team to make sure that their infrastructure is strengthened. So they're able to look ahead for expansion so they could spread their mission wider than they, they're, they're doing today. So we do everything from helping them through their events, planning, making sure that we have a strategic plan behind the way that they secure resources to support the organization and the great work that they do. But in addition to that, we want to make sure that we're reaching those survivors on their behalf. So there are times that survivors may need help, as assistance in putting together their forever home, their, their new apartment, their new place of residence. These folks, these ladies are on the street and they're being rescued and they need to see that there's a vision for their future. So we come alongside Glory House to help them with makeovers of those apartments and providing whatever assistance they may need as a, in a way of partnership or sponsorship to make sure that we're helping them get settled in their new future. What would you say is the ratio of these women that actually make, turn their lives around with the support of the organization and your contributions as well? What would you say is the statistic of these women that you actually see the turnaround? Well, you know, I, we really can't take the credit of these women surviving and thriving, right? Because they are rescued. Then they have to be taken by the hand in the rehabilitation process. And that's a long-term process. It's, it takes Glory House and other organizations that work with victims of human trafficking a very long time to get that person to a place where they know who they are, that they understand that possibilities for a brighter future is possible for them, that, that those dreams are not someone else's dreams, but that this is something that is possible for them too. So the work that Glory House does going there, they're walking that journey step by step with that survivor, making sure that they're not only rescued, but that long-term support is key because these women have been seen differently in their lives. They have to be, become comfortable 
in really being a thriving member of our society, really understanding that their contributions matter. And so Glory House really does all of that. What we do is support Glory House and whatever need they may have in order for them to accomplish their mission. But really, I would be remiss to take any of that credit for ourselves because what we do is support the cause. So we're not in the front line. We're behind the scenes making sure that we are helping them, equipping them to get the work done. Thank you, Iris, for your contributions and for your philanthropic spirit. It's so important and essential nowadays, especially with everybody being so in their ego, so selfish. It takes a lot of character and a lot of strength to be able to do the things that you guys are doing now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Have a good day.